Hi everyone. Uh, this little angel ornament can be personalized. You put the child's name or the person's name and the year on it if they want. And it's very cute even for a baby, a little girl. And you can make it in all different skin colors and hair colors and lots of variations you can do with this one. And if you do this for the shows, I, I would definitely make it in different skin and hair colors. Because people like to look and see which one looks like them or if they're little girl or boy. Well, this would be a girl, not a boy. So we're going to start with the usual stuff. And again, this is going to be a three by four piece of paper. Uh, that seems to be the size I like to work on. That makes a nice size ornament. Not too big, not too small. Of course, you can always go smaller. I definitely would not go bigger. And we're going to start by making the wings. And kind of think of this like making a giant mustache for Santa. Because that's almost the same way this is made. going to put it on the paper. Now someone asked me in the comments how I bake my ornaments and I just bake them right on the little sheet of paper that I make them on and put it on a cookie sheet and stick them in the oven and bake them. And the paper will not catch fire because the oven does not get hot enough. The temperature does not go high enough for that. Now, doesn't that look like a mustache? You're just going to texture it. You do it lightly. You don't want to press all the way through. And now uh, this piece of white clay is the halo. And you can make this gold or different color, whatever you want. And you don't have to do it in pastels. I'm going to put her head on. Oh, and you do need a heart cookie cutter for this one. Or you can make your own heart. But I think it's easier with a cookie cutter. And they're easy to find in all different sizes. Now remember, be sure that you don't use your cookie cutters that you use for clay to make cookies. Unless, of course, you wash them really, really well, but I still would not recommend it. Gosh, I'm being very, very careful here. And as you saw, I had a little bit of a bubble in there, so I had to get that uh, bubble out. You don't want bubbles in your clay because they'll just make a mess when you bake them. It won't look good. So I am actually, I had to stop and cut a few things out of here that I forgot to uh, edit. So I am actually uh, right now narrating over old narration. So I hope I hope it works out. Now we're putting our hands on. Now this one I did not give her a face, but you can give her a face if you want. What I'm showing you there is that I, I mixed a little green into white to get that color, but I left it kind of marbled. I don't think it really made much difference once it was put on her head. I'm going to put a little garland on her head. 
think they do that in Denmark or Sweden. Or then they put the candles in. That's on the head, not on the forehead. I don't know. And if you don't have a, a garlic press, you can just take the clay and roll it into a rope. Kind of like the way we make the um, candy canes. Put it together and then twist. And I think I'm going to show you that. Not sure, but I'm pretty sure I am. You would think I would remember. I just made this video yesterday. But of course I'm old and I forget things. Yes, I am going to show you. And it's taking me quite a while to show you. But this is not a very long video, so. But you see, you can just twist it. And then in instead of the garland I have on there, you can put that on and then put the pink balls on that. Now let's get the uh, hook in before we do anything else so we don't squish anything. going to make little balls, little pink balls to put on there. I think I put three on there. And then, of course, we're going to blush before we bake. And that's it for her. Very cool. I think this video is under 10 minutes. See, this is a really fast one. We got to get the little leaves and the berries on there. And I'm going to uh, texture the leaves again. If you're making a lot of them for a show or something, you don't have to do this because that just cuts into your time. I mean, if you want to go ahead, but people don't really notice that much, especially when they're going through a show. Put the little berry on and we are good to go. Oh, no, we're not. We've got to do, do the blush. Yes, blush before you bake. And that's a little sponge next. Oh, I got the hiccups. I'm sorry. That's a little sponge next to the blush where if I get too much blush on the paintbrush, I can just wipe it on the sponge to get the excess off. And, of course, you want to... Uh, Baker, according to the instructions on your package of clay. And this was really, really a quick one. I like her. I think she's cute. So, yep. And that's it, folks. See you next time.